is coming. May solution yan. Sana magkaroon tayo ng new consciousness. Yung kung go through, or perhaps we need the power of the Holy Spirit. Yung nga tayo sa mga difficult eh. The new consciousness. No? Uh, di ba naman na naman, slavery is both legal and moral during the time of Christ, no? during uh, early times. Slavery is legal and moral. Pero after a while, inalis natin. Nagkaroon ng new consciousness ng humanity. Slavery is illegal and immoral. No? Like uh, apartheid no? in South Africa. No? Racial discrimination. Okay? Yung inferior attitude to women. No? Dati, buong mundo, mababa ang tingin sa babae. Pero after a while, we can remove the social evils in the world because of new consciousness. Ngayon po, all over the world, merong merong crusade to eradicate poverty. Eradicate poverty. Sana ito lang kasi natin yan. Yung make poverty history. No? Merong, merong, ano, merong uh, evolving na new consciousness. And we hope that it comes from the Holy Spirit uh, and, and, and challenge us powerfully no? to eradicate poverty no? and put it to the minimum single digit poverty. And lastly, I'd no, like to share with you. This is something that you know already. The, the ideal poverty, the pinaka okay, the more than profan, no? I am the uh, poverty of spirit, no? spiritual poverty that all of us uh, need to, to embrace and to witness powerfully in words and deeds of poverty of God's spirit. Okay. Uh, Matthew 5, no? blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, the foundation of the deactive truths, no? the foundation of becoming Christ-like, the foundation of being godly people of God is the poverty of spirit. It is a mindset, it is a way of life, Palagi ko mga sinasabi sa mga tao, Christianity is a lifestyle. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are in the world but not of the world. We are in the world but not of the world. And our lifestyle must be grounded in poverty of spirit. This one is easier said than done. Even, even among us priests, no? I mean, sa Manila, no? ang hirap mong isa mo yan, poverty of spirit. But that is the idea, poverty for all followers of Christ, power their spirit. Okay? So as we know, no, it has uh, uh, an attitude, first attitude of power the spirit is humility to recognize God as the owner, controller, and provider of all things. We don't own anything. I think uh, our our uh, lifestyle will change radically if we recognize that we don't own anything. Everything is God's. And eh, gusto, gusto ko yung uh, libro ni Rick Warren, the famous uh, Christian pastor, uh, Rick Warren. Kung meron pong mga magagaling, magagaling ng mga Christian pastors, no? And one of them is Rick Warren. Ay, yung kanyang libro na Purpose Given Life, no? Has been sold, 32 million have sold after the Bible. I think uh, the, the Purpose Given Life is the second best selling book of all times, no? At that point, yung kanyang first sentence, Doon sa libro ng Purpose Driven Life, the Rick Warren, ako kayo, very powerful, no? Ang sabi niya niya, eh, uh, your life is not about you. Your life is about God. Very true. Very careful. Your life is not about you. Your life is about God. Kaya maraming galing kay Rick Warren, even among Protestants, no? Kasi iba yung kanyang uh, mindset, no? Uh, humility, acknowledge of God is the order controller and provider of all things. We don't own anything. Even the money in your pocket is not yours. It is God's. Kaya pag daw tayo ng kanasal, hindi mo pwede sabihin, Lord, what do you want me? Lord, ano gusto mong gawin ko sa pera ko? Dapat, Lord, ano gusto mong gawin ko sa pera ko? Na nasa bursa ko. Acknowledge God as the owner, controller, provider of all things. Uh, Psalm 24, ang buong naitig at lahat ng naroon, ang Diyos ang may tayo. Okay. 1 Chronicle 29, no? Psalm 100, that we always read in our reverie. No? Uh, he created us, we belong to Him. Ito, palagi natin narinig ito sa pag tayo pinag sa patay. No, sa mga guru, di ba? Napanggata dito. It always struck me uh, in so many ways. Kung no? ang tao nabubuhay para sa sabi din ako. 
walang tao na mamatay para sa salita. Pag nagubukin tayo, buhay tayo sa Panginoon. Pag mamatay, mamatay tayo sa Panginoon. Whether we ever die, we belong to the Lord. We belong to the Lord. Sometimes we tend to forget that. Okay? Uh, this position, that, uh, this possession, detachment from possessions with profound trust in the Lord as the sole source of salvation. Who are we before God? We are not the masters, we are not the owners. Ito ang aking favorito, isa sa mga favorito ko po, yung one with the Corinthians 4. So, ang title, ang sarap ng Diyos, we are servants and stewards. Nothing more, nothing less. We are servants and stewards. The God that God wants in the Diyos. Everything is God. The second, of course, as we acknowledge God as the owner, controller, provider of all things, then the second act of the Holy Spirit is gratitude. No? And I, second nature, second nature for a poor in spirit, we will always be grateful 100%. And in Malaki, and Russia, we will always be grateful. If everything you thanks, for it is God's will, 1 Thessalonians 5. To develop a grateful heart, we need to be thanking God day and night whenever we have a chance and throughout our lives. Hindi lang sa charismatic yung na praise the Lord. Di ba mga si? Kailangan lahat po tayo niyan. 24-7, we must always be grateful. As we wake up, as we lie down at night, we must always be grateful. Everything is God's grace. 1 Corinthians 15, no? I am what I am by the grace of the Lord, says Saint Paul. A grateful heart will thank God for everything that is good in his life and in the lives of others. Marami kong sinasabi ko sa pagkakitin ko ako ito. Hindi lang tayo nagpapasalamat sa mga biyaya natin, pero nagpapasalamat din tayo sa biyaya na tinatanggap ng ating biyanan. Kaya nagpapasalamat ng mga tao ko natin dyan. Uh, sa isang tao daw na grateful, no? there is no moment that we should be envious or jealous. Yeah. Hindi tayo dapat ng siselos o ng ilindu. O ng selos, o ng ilindu. For a person who is poor in spirit. Poor in spirit. Ano ba naman natin kung mapasalam ka? At ipapasalam din tayo sa mga biyayan ng ibang tao. Ang kabawa pa rin natin. Hindi tayo na ilindu. Hindi tayo na siselos. No? Because we are poor in spirit. Si Yahweh ng Tigay, si Yahweh Mabawit, the Lord gives, the Lord takes, praise the Lord. No? As uh, St. John will always remind us. After, what, after 28 years in the priesthood, dito ko na intindihan yung mga uh, passages eh. Ang tago lang mga kumipareksyon eh, ang mga passages eh, ng Bible. Of course, the spiritual specialist, no? perhaps you know him already, he has a lot of books, he wrote a lot of He is a spiritual specialist, meron ko na kanya, no? He's a specialist, he's a buhay spiritual. To be a saint is to be fueled by gratitude, nothing more and nothing less. The third, of course, no? the third uh, characteristic of a poor in spirit no? is very important also. Kung God is a Dios, at ipapasalamat tayo sa Diyos, meron din hangon sa atin ng Panginoon. Much is given, much is required. Alam natin yan, in our theology, in every gift, there is a responsibility. In every gift, there is a responsibility. Okay? So, accountability is very crucial. Ito yung palagay mo sinasabi. Palagay na katawa yan. Sa 2 Thessalonians 3, huwag din yung pakainin ng sino bang ayaw ang trabaho. Okay? Pinagkit namin ito dahil nabalitaan namin mailan sa inyo ay yung trabaho. At wala nga tupad kung di makialam sa buhay na may buhay. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a challenge no? to, to, to be responsible, to be accountable to what the owner has given you. Okay. Responsibly doing what needs to be done to the glory of God. We glorify God in our work when we do it with excellence and distinction. Matthew 5, you're perfect for your Father is perfect. Magpakasipag kayo, wag mag maging tamad. Buong puso kayo maglingkod sa Panginoon. May isang may tatanong sa akin, Father, paano mo malalaman ako isip? Ini-influensya ng masamang Espiritu. Ang sabi ko, kinatamad ka. 
Coba kita nama nabi sunnah nabi mojo. Bagi tempat kita, bukan orang terbang, bukan orang besar, bukan orang besar, bukan orang simpan. Ini bukan orang simpan. Don't, don't realize the potentials that God has given you. Ia adalah sunnah nabi mojo. Pernah lah aku, lah aku, twenty years aku kali. Lah aku nampak pisang sah ina. Pada pertemuan mo, aku nak jual sebuah ini untuk kamu. Matikan na root of all after pride, you know. Laziness is a sin after pride. Laziness. Evil tempts us to be lazy. The devil wants us to be lazy. Stephen Covey, as you know that, no? You've heard of that. Stephen Covey is a dying already of a a cycling accident, no? Uh, Stephen Covey is a famous uh, management uh, guru, but at the same time a pastor. And he came out with this, uh, he made this worldwide research. What made people successful and unsuccessful all over the world? And they recognize their habits. Ito pa mga nagtatagumpay, successful and truthful people, ay may mga habits, no? At sinamarize nila sa seven habits of effective uh, living. At ang foundation of all habits, the foundation of all habits is be proactive. Yun ang muna muna yung condition. And what is to be proactive? To be responsible always for who you are, what you say, and what you do. Be responsible always for who you are, what you say, what you do. Pag narin ka ng meeting, huwag mo sabihin, traffic eh! Huwag mo sasihin ng traffic. Be proactive. Ba't ka narin? Pasensya na doon. Be responsible for who you are, what you say, what you do. That is the foundation of effective habits. Matthew 25, magaling, tapat na pagunting lingkod, magaling tapat ka sa kaunting talaga, o mamahalain kita sa mga talaga. Pagkakalaman kita sa aking kalamakan. Matthew 25. Anong sinabi natin, ano? To be poor in spirit, is to be humble, number one, number two, to be grateful, number three, to be responsible, number four, ito ang ganda eh, no? To be generous, no? Hindi naman sa'yo yun eh. Hindi naman sa'yo yun, sa'yo sa lahat eh. God is the owner, controller, and provider. So why be greedy? Why be selfish? No, it is not yours. It is God's. So we have to utilize our blessings according to the desire of the owner. And God wants us to share. The world must share wealth. The world. The wealth of the world is sufficient for everyone. Sabi nga ni Mahatma Gandhi, the wealth of the world is sufficient for everyone. But it will never be sufficient for one man's dream. Sabi ni Mahatma Gandhi. Ito sa karismatic to eh. Mungkong si Mahatma. Pero ito po ay para sa ating lahat. The basis of receiving is in giving. Kung hindi ka at ay bibigyan, gusto ang tapang sig-sigilin mo ang ataw. Ang panukat na nagamitin sa inyo ay ang panukat na ibinibigyan mo. Giving. Giving you shall receive. Treasures. I'd like to focus on treasures. Alam natin, may alam tayo, may alam tayo, may treasure. I'd like to focus on treasures. Palagi mo sinasabi ko, nag-aaral kami ako ng encounter with Protestants. Nag-aaral kami ng, nag-aaral ko ako ng biblical financial stewardship sa Protestants. Hindi naman natin pinag-aaral sa Catholics eh. Hindi naman nag-aaral sa San Jose. Kaya nag-aaral ko ako. At doon ko ang patumali na napakaraming passages. There are only 500, there are 500 passages about faith in the Bible, 700 about love, but 2,100 passages about money and material possessions. If you want to know more about money and their possessions, we do not know. Alam ng Diyos ang alaman niya sa mundo ito. Ang alaman ng Diyos sa mundo ito. Di ba ng demonyo? Mamon. Galit mamon. And we have to be careful with mamon. It can deflect us from our focus on God. I don't know if na mamono na tri. Ang tawag niya, mamono na tri. Ang tawag niya, mamono na tri. Ang tawag niya, mamono na tri. Even that's why the challenge is to share, to share the blessings that God has given us, to share. Okay. It is important to share our money and material possessions for two reasons. Okay. 
First, good things that God has made, including money, are meant to be shared. Second, we need to give. Oh, we need to give. Okay? We need to give. Uh, Protestants are the other level. Give ten times more than Catholics in the church. Iglesia de Cristo gives 21 times more than Catholics. But that was not as generous as the church. The Bible, Protestants, gives 10 times more than Catholics. Iglesia de Cristo gives 21 times more than Catholics. He said that they, they were taught about financial stewardship. We can have to do it on financial stewardship. Ewan ko pa kung saan natin ito do. Pero kung kung sa inyo ang second family council of the buildings, PCP2, the documents of PCP2, the documents of PCM2, nakasama tayo lahat, we're supposed to teach our Catholic faithful Catholic. Dapat tinuturuan na sila ng PCP2 ng iba po. Hindi tayo tuturo ng kapu. Nasa PCP ko yan. Nasa PCM ko. Hindi natin ito tuturo. Nakalala ko, after 10 years of PCP ko, 1991, yung 2001, nag-meeting yung mga obispo, at nagbigay na reflection si Cardinal Bishop Tagli during the time. What happened after 10 years of PCP ko? Nai-apply na natin. Sabi na lang isang obispo, are we supposed to implement it? Where did the magic? You have to teach. Pero sabi, sabi, in order to 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 teach them tiny, tato na pa tobe, okay? Kung ano nais good governance, no? We have to be transparent. Number two, formation, heavy formation. At pangatlo, organization. We have to organize our people. Good governance, formation, and organization. But sabi mo. Hindi natin kailangan mag-fundraising na mag-fundraising. Tulungan lang natin sila maging good stewards. Mag-fight ko. Subukan ko ito yan. Sa Malabas Parish Place, in Tikutan, and in Greenbelt, tinutulungan natin mag-fighting ang mga parishioners. They do give, especially when they report where the resources are going. Of course, maliwanag yan. Sa Malagay 310, mag-tigay ka, ibibigyan. At dahil mo ang buong ikasampung bahagi. Sa Bible, according to a Jesuit expert in the whole use of money, whole use of money, tato yung way of giving in the Bible, no? Perhaps you know this already, no? Ang pinakamababa daw, ang pinakamababa is tithing. No cyclo, in the Old Testament. Yan siya yung mga bagay. Na dapat na paraan ang pabibigay natin mga believers, ang pinakamababa is 10%. That's only 10%. Okay? You use 90%. You give, and then what's the purpose of fighting? As you know that, no? To promote the faith, no? And to help the poor. And that's one way of God testing how much you trust the Lord. Okay? Nakalagay naman dito. Subukan ninyo ko sa bagay nito. Kung hindi bubuksan ang mga pintana ng langit, bubuksan sa inyo pa sa gano'ng pagpapala, hindi nang pangkarismatik yan. O, huwag yan siya lagi. No? Dapat lahat ng katulip o nagtatay. Minimum. That's minimum. If you want to go higher, ano na kami sa Old Testament, sa New Testament, I'm skipping. I'm skipping. But no one should know when you are giving us. Only the Father who knows in secret to reward you. The second level. And the third, of course, is justice giving. Justice giving. And that's all on level and giving. Tithing, I'm skipping, and justice giving. Justice giving. Ano yung requirement? Kaya magaling si requirement ka? Ba't ako ano bilang ka requirement? Si requirement ko, yung Christian pastor nito, siya yung tulad ng tithing sa kanyang church, sa ating mga church. Ano mo ngayon? Eh, yung mga nga yan eh. Dahil sa kanyang libro. Ano mo ginawa niya? Reverse tithing. Si requirement. 90% ng kanyang earnings yung ganyan niya sa kanyang church. I think that is what Warren Buffett did also. Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world, is a Presbyterian, a very loyal Presbyterian member. 90% of the wealth niya, binigay niya for the poor. Even the Davis, 90% of the wealth niya. Siyempre, mga sigaw niya 10%. Binigay niya, 
Sana meron tayo mga ganyan sa Pilipinas. Kapag mga Taipanas, yung mga elite, they can give to reverse acting, 90% of the living in for the church and for the poor. So, yun. Ito naman isa, sa Bible, ang um, nakalagay sa Bible naman, Acts 4, 32. No? Ito yung justice giving. No? Walang kinakapos sa kanila sa pagkat ipinagbibli nila ang kanilang lupat bahay at ang pinagbibli nila 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 sa apostol. Kaya mga mahang ito, ayon sa pangailangan ng bawat isa. No? So what is the need of the community? In early Christian community, early Christian community, Acts 4. No? They pray together, they pray together, they pray the word of God, and they share their wealth. No one is hungry, no one is in need. No one is hungry, no one is in need. Sana ito na sa parokya, no? sa parokya natin. No one is hungry, no one is in need. Because we help each other. We ensure no one is hungry, no one is in need. Justice giving. How much do we give? It depends. What is the need of the poor? What is the need of the sick? No? We give what is the need. Justice giving. Kaya tato, sa Bible, tato daw po ang kinds of giving. Okay? The lowest is tithing, 10%. Higher than that, arms giving. And the highest is justice giving. According to uh, Father John Hogue, SJ, who wrote a lot of books on uh, financial stewardship, you know, holy use of money. Okay. Private property is a right according to the Catholic social teaching. Go to the express. Private property is a right, but not an absolute right. It is subordinated to the common goal of all. Um, lastly, solidarity. So, my dear brothers, no? Uh, in order to witness to uh, poverty of spirit, the lifestyle of a Christian. Okay? We have to be humble, we have to be grateful, we have to be responsible, and therefore we have to be generous. Uh, be generous. And number five, solidarity. You know? I think God is uh, uh, whatever you do to the least, to be one with those who are least. We do to God. I think that is the reason why John Pope Francis came to the Philippines uh, early January. There was no canonization in the Philippines last January. Well, a lot of major church event this coming January. He came here because of solidarity to be one with those who are victims of uh, Uganda and Paris. Empathy. So intimate that someone else's thoughts, motives, feelings came through to me as if they were my own. Your pain is my pain. Your sorrow is my sorrow. Your problem is my problem. Solidarity, to be one with, you know. He is all humanity in one. Whenever one man is hurt, we are all injured. That's why you know, we are all you know. permissions. We are all permissions. You know. We feel the pain, very one with the pain of those who are victims of violence in parish. Ito ang pabili ko parangin, you know? Kasi minsan eh, meron notion tayo na to be a, to be a expert Christian, di ba? Father, ano, more, no? To be an expert, kailangan magaling ka sa Bible, parang si daking daan, you know? But pero you know, pinapanood niyo yung Gresel, kaya mo pinapanood yung Gresel ni Cristo? Di ba, Gresel ni Cristo, may sa ating ating lawa, Gresel ni Cristo is a well-run corporation. Well-run, efficient corporation whose product, by the way, is religion. Kaya mo ganyan, mga buha ko. Para mo ganyan, mga Gresel ni Cristo, wala natin siya. Mga buha. Wala mo, ikin natin ang buha nila. Ang ganyan nila sa marketing, ang ganyan nila sa packaging. Pero Gresel ni Cristo now is undergoing inclusion. Uh, because the Christian Christo, dumating na sila yung sa tinatawag na third generation syndrome ng mga corporation. First generation, nagtanin. Second generation, nagtanin. Third generation, nagwaldas. Ayaw pa kung na sila sa third generation. I think we will see the collapse. No? If they don't do it well, we will see the collapse of the Christian Christo. Ang nag-aaway ko dyan ay familia. And to be a Christian is not to be an expert in the Bible or rituals. To be a Christian is to be an expert in humanity. Solidarity. Solidarity. 
from a boat called the Six. Okay. The, the classic the introduction of Volume Express, the joy and hope, grief and anguish of the men of our time, especially of those who are poor or afflicted in any way, are the joy and hope, grief and anguish of the followers of Christ as we One with of solidarity, mercy and compassion will be one with those who are suffering.
Yes, I am. Because I'm saved by priesthood. I'm priesthood is saved because of my word. With the word. I don't tell them, but uh, I tell you, what saved my priesthood is my word. With the word. Yeah, then you are after them. The word also evangelizes us. They make us feel the presence of God. And when we, uh, when we have the poor, brothers and sisters, uh, when we have the poor, we have the poor not because they are lovable. We have the poor because God loves them. God is with them. And God is with the poor. Yeah, we have the poor because God loves them and God is with them. And lastly, before I end, yeah, for pastors and leaders to learn to be with, work with, and learn from the poor. ECB2. And finally, is to believe for Christ in poverty and oppression in order to carry out the work of salvation. Like what many priests are doing in the far from areas, fighting for justice and human rights at the expense of their lives and limbs. Pope Francis, so I end this uh, conference with Pope Francis. In the poor and outcast, we see Christ's face and loving and helping the poor love and serve Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. So, so um, uh, kung tayo matapos, I will mean, go, uh, kung meron kong talong, I uh, will be going briefly to the Bible Bible Recovery. So, we're here, you know, the poor, um, uh, saving the rest, the, la the, the, the last, um, at least, uh, the best for last, no? that we're here, that we're here, here, and that we're to learn, to unlearn and to learn. No, I hope we learn something new. We, um, we have to do some unlearning, no? how we kill the poor and we learn. So, we have to do some unlearning, how we kill the poor and we learn. So, we have to do some unlearning, how we kill the poor and we learn. So, we have to do some unlearning, how we kill the poor and we learn. So, we have to do some unlearning, how we kill the poor and we learn. So, we have to do some unlearning, how we kill the poor and we learn. Before we proceed with the body body, very cold.